You're now tuned in to the Real Money Coach broadcast with host Tony Jackson, author of the book, Increase, Protect, and Dominate Your Money. Get ready for winning tips and strategies to effectively manage your finances and learn the key principles of protecting and dominating your money. Now, here's author and host Tony Jackson. Good morning, good morning, good morning. You are listening to the Real Money Coach show here on Praise 100.9, Charlotte's Inspiration Station. And as I tell you each and every week, any place that you get your podcast, Apple, Google, Spotify, SoundCloud, wherever you happen to get your podcast, Pandora, uh, we are there. And I'm excited, as I am each and every week, to be with you. Um, and, and, you know, this is what we call it. This is the Real Money Coach family, right? And so we want to encourage you to make sure that you're following us on YouTube. Uh, and that's YouTube slash The Real Money Coach. I want to make sure that you're part of our private Facebook group, which is The Real Money Coach community uh, and all those things. And so what I want to do this morning, because first of all, I, I have to tell you this. I have a phenomenal guest for us today. Her name is Kimberly McMorris. Uh, she's founder of the Black Wall Street Insurance Agency, First Priority Insurance Agency. She hails out of Atlanta, Georgia. You're going to get a chance to meet and uh, hear from her here in a few minutes. And I guarantee you uh, that you're going to be excited about what she has to say. And I think it's going to really be something quite interesting when you get these two insurance people together next Tuesday on Facebook and YouTube, and two people who love the Lord, who love what they do in terms of insurance, it's, it's going to be a dynamic show. Uh, there's a lot of great things coming up that I want to share with you. The first one I want to share with you is is this, the 2023 Black Expo, or not Black Expo, excuse me, it is the Spring Business Expo. You, Spring Business Expo. It is the 2023 Expo that will take place uh, in Concord. And the host of that is Lashray uh, Rogers. Lashray Rogers. Um, she is known as the CEO Sister, right? And so it is going to be a wonderful conference that will take place on June 10th. I will be one of the main, main stage speakers. I'll be my title of my talk is let's talk about generational wealth. And so you can uh, definitely you want to make sure you go to LinkedIn, social media places, uh, look on Eventbrite for the 2023 Spring Business Expo to take place June 10th. And it runs from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So make sure that you come and check that out. Now, the other thing that is happening, and by the way, I, I think this is really kind of cool because, uh, you know, we've been talking about May being, you know, Mental Health Awareness Month, right? And so I have a great guest coming on, and it's also Small Business Month. And so we're really doing both to honor those, so thus the 2003 Spring Business Expo. The other thing that's coming to Charlotte uh, something else that I'm involved in is the MBN Millionaire Mindset Conference. That conference will take place on Sunday, June 18th with a uh, with a banquet. Keynote speaker is Dr. George Frazier. Uh, also, another uh, guest speaker will be Dr. Michelle Walker Davis. This will take place over two days, June 18th and June 19th, 2023. And Malik Yoba, you guys may remember him from some of the Tyler Perry's movies. I remember him from Why Did I Get Married, uh, both Why Did I Get Married, number one and number two. He was the guy that was married to Janet Jackson. You guys may remember that movie. He's also had some TV series, uh, New York Undercover, and some of those type of uh, uh, police uh, thrillers and that type of thing. He will also be in uh, part of the MBN Millionaire Mindset Conference Again, that's going to take place. Um, the hotel is the Hampton Inn and Suites in Concord, but the event, the dinner, and all that will take place at Mr. Charles uh, Event Center. And so you want to go to mbnconnect.com where you can actually purchase tickets for the, the banquet, 
or the conference. Uh, but I've been a part of MBN now, and I'll tell you what, the mindset of business and business networking and all that type of thing in this group has been like none other that I've been involved in. And so we do want to encourage you to take part in that. Now, the last thing I want to mention uh, here real quick is the iPad Your Money Masterclass. Many people have been asking me, when is the next masterclass coming? And it's coming starting this Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. iPad Your Money Masterclass. We're going to deal with the seven main chapters of the book. We're going to talk financial education. We're going to talk um, budgeting. We're going to talk about uh, how to protect yourself from the stock market, how to minimize your taxes, how to have a estate plan, how to leave generational wealth. We're going to be doing all of that as part of the master class. And so what you want to do is you want to go to iPadMasterclass.com, register. This time... The master class is going to be part of the Generational Wealth Alliance weekly meeting, generationalwealthalliance.net, Generational Wealth Alliance meeting at 7 p.m. Eastern time every Thursday. So not only will you get the master class, but you will get on a weekly basis nuggets from Janice, the Rainmaker Leak, and Dr. George C. Frazier. So it's going to be a phenomenal class. Make sure you register. And listen, I'm going to take a quick break right now, and I'm going to come back with the interview where I have with Mrs. Kimberly McMorris of the Wall Street Insurance Agency. You're listening to The Real Money Coach Show here on Praise 100.9. Let me be your canvas. Let me be your vision. Let me be your brush that you use to express yourself. Use my life as a backdrop. Use my heart as the light Now breathe on me what you like And make it come to life So what I want you to do is just Write on me family join author tony jackson for the real money coach broadcast each and every saturday morning from 7 30 a.m to 8 a.m on praise 100.9 mr jackson enlightens you on the real secrets of money he'll also help you increase protect and dominate your money you can also catch tony jackson's the real money coach every tuesday at 8 p.m on facebook live and youtube check out the real money coach mr tony jackson every saturday morning 7 30 a.m to 8 a.m on praise 100.9 hey tony jackson here you know me as the real money coach listen i want to encourage you to do something and what i want to encourage you to do is email me your questions your comments or even suggestions that of topics that you'd like us to cover on the real money coach show you can email it to info at the real money coach.com again that's info at the real money coach.com email us your questions your comments your suggestions and we will answer those on air and also on our facebook live youtube show on tuesdays at 8 p.m eastern time So make sure you email us so that we can get that information that you want to know in your ears. I am Tony Jackson, The Real Money Coach. And welcome back to The Real Money Coach broadcast with author and host, Tony Jackson. Welcome back. Welcome back to The Real Money Coach show here on Praise 100.9 Charlotte's Inspiration Station. I am your host, Tony Jackson. And as I mentioned to you in the beginning of our show, I'm excited about having Miss Kimberly McMorris on the line with us today. Kimberly is the CEO of Black Wall Street Insurance Agency. She's also co-owner owner, and founder of First Pri- Priority 
Insurance Agency based in Metro Atlanta. Kimberly is on the line with us this morning. Kimberly, how are you doing? Oh, my goodness. When I tell you I am blessed and amazing, I am blessed and amazing. It is an absolute honor to be here on the line with you today, sir. Hey, listen, you know, we always talk about being blessed and highly favored. I like that blessed and amazing. That's 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 pretty dope right there. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it's like we have to speak these things into an existence because you know, even on days, right, when we don't feel amazing, like you have to talk to yourself. And I just wish more individuals spoke life into themselves. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's power in the words. I, I read somewhere in a book, it said that, that somebody said, let there be light and light appear. Let there be this and that appear. So we have to speak those things into existence in our life as our master did. Absolutely. Well, listen, would you do this for me? Will you just tell our listening audience a little bit about who Kimberly McMorris is? You know, <laughs> you know, like I have been asked that question often. And so, you know, to give individuals, you know, context of, you know, who I am and then what I do and then why I do things the way that I do things is that, you know, I'm that child that the village raised. And I'm grateful when I say that I'm that child that the village raised. Because there are often times, right, whenever we, you know, whenever we look for, you know, a sense of family, a sense of belonging, a sense of camaraderie, no matter, you know, what area or what space that we're in. But because I'm that child at the village raised, um, you know, to where I, I tell individuals family is who you choose to love. And so I just simply believe in building bridges and in not just bridges in business. I believe in, 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 in building bridges in both family and business because, you know, you, because the show that we're on right now is called The Money Coach and it's all about money. But whenever I say that if I don't like you, I don't really want to do business with you. I don't really want to make any money with you. And because I take that approach of, 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 you know, of, from that child that the village raised, that now, no matter who it is, you know, as long as we can find an area and a space and a place where we can come together collectively and collaboratively, I know that we can do some great things together. And that's just simply the way that I approach everything. And so, and it doesn't make a difference if it's a personal relationship or a business relationship. And and just you just simply have to be able to be in sync and then be able to harmonize and then to be in one accord with one common goal. And that really is truly to serve and then to uplift God's people from a multitude of different spaces and places. That is absolutely 100 percent the truth. Right. Um, and I often tell people this, you know, I, I tell people that, you know, I, I'm at that age and I've been in this business long enough, you know, uh, you know, 25 plus years that I work with people I want to work with, not people I have to work with. And there's a there's a major difference. And, you know, and I know we have similar backgrounds in insurance and and some people would even even questions like um, you're going to have another insurance professional agent on your show. Why would you do that? And it's really just because of what you just said is because together we all can be better. And there's so much need in our community that there's not one or a team of us that can get it all done. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then even, you know, whenever I think about even with the reason why I even created the Black Wall Street, you know, insurance agency as I sit here, because I'm actually, you know, here in, um, um, you know, in a place that inspired me. And then, right, whenever I say a place that inspired me, like I watched the Herman Russell story, and I don't know if any of you are familiar with the Herman Russell story, but whenever you think about the building of Atlanta, because I tell individuals that whenever it comes to Atlanta, Atlanta is 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 the capital of black America. Washington, D.C. might be the capital of white America, but whenever it comes to black America, it's absolutely Atlanta, because it's just simply a place for economic prosperity. But as I watched the Herman Russell story, and he talked about the reason why they created Atlanta Life uh, was because they couldn't get uh, the white insurance companies to be able to insure their projects. And so with navigating in this Black Wall Street space, even though I own First Priority Insurance Agency, I said I wanted everyone to know that they could come to a space and a place where it was going to be a black insurance agent. Because we in the black community, we have different and we have unique insurance needs. And because we are so behind the power curve when it comes to the value of insurance and the importance of insurance, 
I just simply wanted to create a platform where we can feel safe, where we can make sure that we feel, you know, both protected and empowered, because it may be that, you know, excuse me, that right now that you can only start with just a 10-year term policy. We have to meet our community where they're at. But you could be of significant financial means and might need to know of some creative spaces and places to be able to, you know, put your money to amass generational wealth. So there's just simply no avenue that you can't take whenever it comes to insurance, but that's just simply on the life insurance side. But even as you think about from a business perspective, it shocked me uh, when the pandemic hit how many of my business owners didn't have the necessary, you know, uh, you know, insurances in place to be able to protect their businesses where they didn't, you know, they just simply didn't think about, you know, a just in case if something happens, because most people don't have a just in case something happens insurance policy. And so we, um, you know, we need to see this as as, as a tool to allow us to be financial beacons of our households and then financial beacons of our generation so that we can lay footsteps in the sand for the next generation to follow. And, and, and I can't write every single solitary insurance policy. You can't write every single solitary insurance policy. But if we do come together with educating our community, we can change the nature, we can change the pathway forward of our entire community. And then, and, and I'm unapologetically black, so we can tire the entire future of our black community if we all just had a hundred thousand dollars of life insurance. Just a hundred thousand. And then, yep. yes, a- absolutely, absolutely, yes. So we're just literally with just a hundred thousand dollars of life insurance. Because if you can imagine, right, with 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 you know, excuse me, with the thirteen percent of the population that that we hold here in America. If we all had just $100,000 of life insurance, and then whenever that person passes away, then they leave them $100,000 of life insurance, and then the generation following leaving $100,000 of life insurance, and that's just simply to pick a place and start. But, of course, right, you should have seven times whatever your current income is, but, we've ha- but we have got to pick a place and start because the pandemic left us woefully unprepared. Unprepared. And, you know, one of the things that that one of our more popular uh, webinars we do is called GoFundMe Ain't Life Insurance. Right. And Mm. we have got to stop relying on those things. It's the fish fry of of years past. But listen, this has been just a wonderful, really quick conversation. Uh, And uh, if you're listening this morning, you are in for a treat when Kimberly and I get together and can have a good solid 45 minutes that we're going to be talking to uh, our listening audience and viewing audience on Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time on Facebook and YouTube. Look for The Real Money Coach. Kimberly, thank you so much for taking some time out to be with me this morning, and I can't wait for us to even spend some more time on Tuesday. Absolutely. Well, look, whenever I say that it, that it is an absolute pleasure, it is an absolute pleasure because we have got to, you know, impact and empower our community. And whenever it comes to marketplace ministry, that's just simply absolutely what we have to do. So I'm excited for us to get into a little bit more about who we are and then what we're doing and then some of the collaborative things that we're going to be able to do together. And so thank you for this opportunity and for this moment. And I am beyond excited to be able to spend some more time with you, sir. All right. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your day. And listen, folks, we'll be right back as I wrap up the Real Money Coach show here on Praise 100.9, Charlotte's Inspiration Station, and every place that you get your podcast. Living in a world, confusion, trouble, trials and tribulations on every hand. Calling on Jesus, my problem solver. If you don't know him, he's a wonderful God.
Are you looking for gynecological care that is comprehensive, consistent, and caring? Your health is too important to get lost in the medical care shuffle. Hi, I'm Dr. Rochelle Brandon, and I'd like to invite you to Brandon Gynecology Associates, where we provide compassionate care for women. I believe that caring for a woman's health requires an individual approach. That's why I personally guide each patient's gynecological care, creating a plan that makes sense for each woman's mind, body, and soul. Visit us on the web at brandongynecology.com or call 704 510 1600. Hey, Grace family, join author Tony Jackson for the Real Money Coach broadcast each and every Saturday morning from 7.30 a.m. to 8 a.m. on Praise 100.9. Mr. Jackson enlightens you on the real secrets of money. He'll also help you increase, protect, and dominate your money. You can also catch Tony Jackson's The Real Money Coach every Tuesday at 8 p.m. on Facebook Live and YouTube. Check out The Real Money Coach, Mr. Tony Jackson, every Saturday morning, 7.30 a.m. to 8 a.m. on Praise 100.9. Hey, Tony Jackson here. You know me as The Real Money Coach. Listen, I want to encourage you to do something. And what I want to encourage you to do is email me your questions, your comments, or even suggestions that of topics that you'd like us to cover on The Real Money Coach Show, you can email it to info at therealmoneycoach.com. Again, that's info at therealmoneycoach.com. Email us your questions, your comments, your suggestions, and we will answer those on air and also on our Facebook Live YouTube show on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So make sure you email us so that we can get that information that you want to know in your ears. I am Tony Jackson, The Real Money Coach. And welcome back to The Real Money Coach broadcast with author and host, Tony Jackson. All right, I am back. This is Tony Jackson, The Real Money Coach. Listen, I'm I'm excited. Um, Just talking to Kimberly for a few minutes there. Um, There's so many synergies that we have in terms of our background and our beliefs in terms of insurance and, uh, you know, making sure that our people are taken care of because, you know, we're, we're the last in so many different economic measurements, you name it, you know, black and brown folks, particularly black folks are at the bottom of many of those, those measurements and studies and that type of thing. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I started this last week. I started this series uh, that is called 15 Ways to Increase your financial IQ. So 15 ways to increase your financial IQ. This is the second installment uh, of that four-part series. And to recap what I talked about last week, um, the first way is to understand the banking systems, understand the banking systems. Number two was understanding the rule of 72. And then the third was decode your financial behavior. And there we talked in particular about, you know, avoiding overconfidence, avoiding confirmation bias, avoid loss aversion, avoid anchoring, avoid the herd mentality, and avoid mental accounting, and avoid regency balance. So those were the seven things that we talked about in terms under that third point of decoding your financial uh, behavior. So what I want to do today is I'm going to cover the next four points, next four tips, keys for increasing your financial IQ. Number four, number four is implement a zero base budget. Now, we talk about budget in just about every financial literacy class I do because it is so important. And sometimes we call it a spending plan, you know, to make it sound a little bit better than budget. Uh, But the fact is that you want to have a plan for your money, right? And when you use a zero base, that basically means that you're accounting for every dollar, every penny that you spend, And, you know, one of the things, and I talk a little bit about this in the book, so if you come to the master class, you'll get some of this. But how I prefer and I recommend is first you just, you write all your income down. And then I think the proper thing to do next is to write all of your, um, 
what I call fixed expenses, but fixed from the standpoint that these are necessities. These are things that you have to do, right? So, you know, your electric bill may not be the same every month, So, but it is something you have to pay. Now, you can list those in that category of fixed expenses by those things that stay the same each month and then put the things that vary each month after that. The next category, now that's actually the third category. The second category is is your savings. We want you to have your savings goal to be the number two thing after your income and then move to your fixed expenses and then let's move to your variable expenses. Variable expenses in this context is going to mean things that you do not necessarily have to have. It could be streaming. It could be different things like that. And again, once you get into this category, you can actually list them out by uh, the things that are fixed, uh, where the price is the same each month, and then things that vary. Now, then when you're looking at trimming your budget, you start at the bottom of that list and you work your way up. You start at things that vary each month that are not necessary necessities, and then you move into things that are fixed expenses that are uh, not as necessities, and then you kind of move your way up if you're looking to trim your budget. Number five. Number five is that you need to study cases of financial success and failure. We can learn so much. We can collapse our learning curve by simply studying cases of financial success, Apple, Amazon. We can also look at at cases where there was failure, Enron, and maybe some other things, Um, you know, maybe Silicon Valley Bank. But you want to study both successes and failures, So that we can learn from those things. Number six is learn to read financial news. And I think this is so important. And, you know, if you're looking at different news outlets and different stuff like that, you know, they they could be slanted, right? So, you you know, you can't just look at CNN. You also got to look at Fox, right? And vice versa. But one of the things I like is on my iPad or my iPhone, I like going to the stocks Uh, app there that's on there and not just looking at the fluctuations of the stock but there are usually great articles from a different resources that are on that page as well that will give you insight into what's happening with the stock market on that particular day that particular week so i think that's a great source of financial news that you can read and number seven this is the last one we'll cover today is challenge yourself with Financial experts. And so what I'm saying is, you know, seek out financial experts and different financial experts. Um, And that's one of the things that I'm really kind of proud about in terms of the Real Money Coach show is that we bring financial experts on. We bring a number of realtors on. We bring a number of uh, real estate investors. We bring mortgage protection. We bring budgeting people. We bring a number of different people that maybe not all think the same, may not all take the same approach, but we do that to give you, our viewers and our listeners, a well-rounded experience as it relates to business owners, marketing people, as well as financial people. And so that's what we aim to do. So those are the four points I wanted to cover today. Uh, Implement a zero balance budget, do case studies of success and failures, Learn to read the financial news and challenge yourself with financial experts. That's my time on this Saturday morning. Y'all have a great day. Remember to go iPadmasterclass.com to register for our class. That's it. I'm out. Y'all have a great weekend. We hope you've enjoyed the Real Money Coach broadcast with author and host Tony Jackson. We encourage you to utilize today's strategies and principles to manage your money in the most effective and winning way. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to send us an email, TonyJacksonAgency at gmail.com, or you can reach us on all social media platforms. And if you would like a copy of Tony Jackson's book, Increase, Protect, and Dominate Your Money, log on to www dot the real money coach dot com until next week's empowering broadcast god bless